This video assumes you've already signed up for a VoicePulse 5 account and have logged into the portal at 5.voicepulse.com. Once logged in, go to the dashboard by using the link at the top right of the page. The first step is to create and name your organization. You can name it anything you want. Most users make it the same name as the business they're signing up for. We'll call this one My Company. Once you've named your organization, click on Gateways in the left-hand menu, then click on New Gateway. A gateway defines how you connect to Voice Pulse 5. The name is just for your reference. Again, you can name it however you like. We'll call this one My Company Gateway. The host name is a little more particular. This becomes part of the server name you enter into your PBX settings. It should be just letters and numbers with no spaces. We'll enter My Company GW here. This means that later we'll set our PBX to register to mycompanygw.proxy.voicepulse.com. Every hostname must be unique, so don't just copy what we've entered in this example. Make up your own. Leave the trial mode checkbox enabled and click save. Next, we tell 5 how your PBX will be connecting to the service. Click endpoints on the left, then click new endpoint. Where it says to select a gateway, pick the gateway we just created. Give the endpoint a name. We'll enter company PBX. Then, decide whether your PBX will authenticate to us with a username and password or by IP address. Using an IP address is the more secure choice, but it does require that you have a static IP address from your ISP and may need additional firewall configuration. For simplicity's sake, we'll choose to create a username and password for now. You can always change it to IP authentication later. Like with any service you sign up for, the password should be hard to guess. We'll enter company PBX for the username and put in a complex password. Save this password somewhere so you can paste it into your PBX later, and don't use the password shown in the video. The E164 setting affects the format of phone numbers for your incoming and outgoing calls. With E164 set to true, we'll send your PBX incoming calls beginning with a plus sign, a 1, then the area code and number. For outgoing calls, we'll expect your PBX to format numbers the same way. If you're not sure if you want this setting turned on, you can leave it set to false, and we'll be more flexible about what we accept from your PBX. Once you've entered a username and password for your endpoint, click Save. The next thing to do is set up a trunk. Enter a name, again, anything is fine here, we'll enter Company Trunk, and then choose whether incoming calls are allowed and whether outgoing calls are allowed. Most people leave both turned on. The channel quantity defines how many simultaneous calls can go through five at once. We'll enter three for now, you can always increase this later. Also, choose whether you want to look up the caller ID name of people who call you. There is a very small charge, less than a penny, per lookup, so this feature is optional. You can turn this feature on or off at any time. Under Select a Gateway, choose the gateway we created earlier, then click Save. If you're going to use Voice Pulse 5 to accept incoming calls, you'll want to add a phone number now for testing purposes. On the left, click Phone Numbers, then click Add Phone Number. Here you can browse a list of all of the numbers, or DIDs, we have available. In the column headings, you can click the downward pointing arrow to filter the list. For example, you can show only DIDs beginning with a certain area code. Or you can show all numbers in a certain state. Once you've found a number you like, click Buy and then confirm your purchase. You might want to make a note of the number as well. With your trial account, you can add one number for free for testing purposes. Once the trial expires, you can remove this number or keep using it. Our next step is to go to the Call Flow page in the left-hand menu. Here we'll tell 5 to direct incoming calls to the endpoint we set up. Select your gateway from earlier, then under Call Apps, click the Create button you'll see a call app appear under the button. Click on that and to the right choose Add Step. Click under Action and from the drop-down choose Forward. Click under Endpoint and from that drop-down choose your company PBX endpoint. Then click Save. The call app tells Five how to send an incoming call to your PBX, but it's only half the picture. We also need an app map, which maps call apps to phone numbers. This way you can decide if calls to all numbers on your account should be handled the same, 
or if some need different rules than others. This is especially useful if you have more than one endpoint. For now, we have just a single number and a single endpoint, so we'll add an app map that says do the same thing for every call. Under app map, click add new record. For match expression, enter the following four characters. Carrot dot star dollar sign. You might recognize this as a regular expression. If not, don't worry about it for now. You can read about them in our help site later. Under the call app column, choose the call app we created a moment ago. Then click save changes. To test that you've entered everything correctly, you can enter the number you added to your account under app map validation and click validate. It should tell you there's a match. In fact, the rule we added is generic enough that it should match any phone number you enter. This way, if you purchase new numbers for your account or port existing numbers to 5, they're already covered by your existing app map and call app, so you won't need to make any changes to support them. That completes the setup steps in your Voice Pulse 5 portal. To finish, you'll need to have your PBX register to 5, or for testing purposes, you can set up your endpoint, username, and password in a soft phone app on your PC or smartphone. Remember to use your custom host name. In our example, it's mycompanygw.proxy.voicepulse.com and the username and password you set up earlier. If you've forgotten, you can look them up. Click Endpoints on the left, and next to the endpoint, click Edit. You'll see the host name in a box at the top of the page and the username and password below. If you have any questions or run into trouble getting your PBX or soft phone registered, Voice Pulse support is here to help. Just click the green help icon at the bottom right corner of the page. From here, you can search for relevant help articles or start a live chat if you can't find what you're looking for. Also, be sure to check out the video description for links to articles about some of the things we've shown here. Thanks for choosing Voice Pulse 5.